I don't hide the artwork in the studio, someplace in the closet, you know. I bring the artwork for the community to appreciate and to make people happy. The different holidays seem to make people happy all the time. And like I said, they always um, look towards what's going on in the window to see what's coming up. The, 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 the small, like the mom and pop places are really nice too, you know. And you know, we support each other. Actually, what I do for the, the clients, it uh, makes their business uh, do good. Someone told me that um, since, they, since they've been using my window, right? If the window's empty, it looks like, oh, what happened to your window? Work and life and art are connected. It's more than just artwork. It's something that's interrelated with everything. So I've kind of the line between my work and my play and my enjoyment is kind of blurred. <laughs> Sometimes I'm happier doing this than at home. <laughs> I tell a nice story. My mother told me a story. I can't remember it. But when I was a kid in Trinidad, uh, I went in the backyard and I dug up some dirt and I started making some, uh, some statues and some faces and things like that. I really love doing this stuff. That's why I come out to do it. It's not, it's not I work and I make good money. But it's also another, I love doing it. Whenever you do a painting or you do something, it's you're really putting part of yourself into that. That's what it is. You put part of yourself into that, and that's why I say, if you're very nice, then it becomes very nice. That's what it is.